welcome back to my channel so i started this page last night and i thought i'd do a little bit of a coloring shout just why i finished it off now i don't know i think i'm gonna pull these colors over to this side and make it a double page spread but this is not finished i've done all of this with ink tents i still need to add uh, darker shades to add a little bit more depth now this is a new to me book this is carolina carolina I'm not going to try and pronounce that last name, it's too early in the morning. Uh, on the other side of the dream. Now I did purchase this off Colour With Clothes Facebook book group. There's a Facebook group where people sell all art supplies and colouring books. Oh, why is my camera wobbling? Come on tripod, I've not filmed in like a week I want to say. It's been over a week actually. So I feel a bit rusty. Anyway that side uh, I saw this book and it was brand new and then uh, I said is it, is it still available and the lady sent it out and she's from Scotland so thank you very much to Karen and she asked me to do uh, I'm a, a YouTuber and that was the weirdest thing that I've probably ever experienced so if you're watching this hi Karen and thank you again so I used I kept this the green out because I knew that I would uh, remember the reds but I wouldn't remember the the green that I used and it was a felt green and then I used the Caran d'Ache aqua brush the ink tent clean water and I think that was a bit it and then just a, a cloth I'm gonna sharpen this actually but I hope everyone's doing all right it's Monday the 9th today so the only reason that I'm getting to film at the moment, my mother-in-law's just took Isabel out for a little walk so it could be 20 minutes. I'm hoping that it doesn't shake too much. I've moved my desk around a little bit and oh, I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have done. Yeah, so I don't know if she's going to be 20 minutes, 40 minutes or, or an hour. Uh, I think it depends on the weather. So I'm making the most of this time I've got in peace. My son's still in bed. Uh, typical teenager so like I said I hope everyone's doing all right we're just about still alive with some holidays it's uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be but now that I'm, I'm gonna have to touch wood touch wood I say that and then uh, this week will probably be a crappy one <laughs> but it's not been too bad we've got an appointment at the end of the week which I'm looking forward to at Isabel's new school uh, to meet up with the physios again and do a session we've decided now from it was this weekend just gone we're not taking her to private physio anymore I don't think that she's getting enough out of it to to justify the price of a eight pound an hour and then it was taking like practically the full day out to drive down there to do the, the physio to come back on to get sorted we couldn't really do anything else with the day so we're hoping that the physio at a new school will uh, be just as good and I think they will be they seem really nice they seem really experienced they dealt with Isabel's tantrums really really well now these are the same as them I think I'm going to do them a different colour green same with them yeah they dealt with her little tantrum really really well the first time that they met um, I have, there's another reason why I didn't film as well because I didn't feel like coming on and doing any sort of chatty video but we are Monday now it's nearly a week later to what happened but last Tuesday now I've got to say first take a drink that I only take Isabel into town usually by myself once a month because it is difficult it is difficult to say the least getting her all ready making sure her dinner's sorted we've got extra clothes nappies blah 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 and then getting on public transport because I don't drive but we had a, an all right time and my son was there and she was quite well behaved there's a really really funny picture if I can I'll add it somewhere around here but we'd just been to my son run down to Starbucks and we were sat outside on one of the benches and it's like a, a little courtyard you've got the, the bit in the middle with benches and then all different shops around it and she was happy to just sit there and people watch because she's quite nauseous. and that picture's hilarious she's just leaning 
she's leaning on her hand as if it's a come on mum when are we going if i can i will try to add it somewhere around here because it is a really nice picture um, and then we did the shopping that we needed i only purposely went i needed to get her some stuff for school and stuff for my son and then we got on the bus back home and then one of probably the most ignorant disrespectful older i'm not even going to call her a lady a woman was on the bus and isabel was in a wheelchair and then she's got like a harness to keep her upright because she can't sit up and she was drooling a little bit because that's what she does she has special patches behind her ears to help with the drooling and i can't wait till she's five because she can have an operation to stop the drooling me and my husband can't wait for that um but apart from that she looks like any other normal little girl she doesn't look like her. she's got any disabilities apart from just being in the wheelchair and i often get questions and saying oh isn't she pretty and oh, etc 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 but this one woman she first of all was asking how old is she what's her name etc etc i was happy to answer all of them be right back. I just need to sharpen this. I don't want to keep sharpening it on camera because I know how annoying it can be. <laughs> so that should be alright. I just realised I've gone over the stem there, so I am going to have to go over this stem of all of them. That's when you get sidetracked when you're talking. Yeah, so she she goes on asking all these questions, which is fine, but then I, I do start finding it a little bit irritating. The bus is full of people. My son's still with us, but he's right at the back of the bus. Like I said, typical teenager. And he had his headphones in, so he wasn't even aware of what was going on. And then, out of the blue, I mean, and I've just got to add, it takes 20 minutes on that bus to get home, because it goes all the way around all these different estates before we can get off. So this was five or ten minutes into the journey. And then out of the blue, she just said, I bet her dad was glad that she was dropped on her head. And... I didn't actually know how to respond to that. Um, when I was younger, I was quite uh, was quite quiet. I'd say my piece when I, th I felt like I needed to. But as I've got older and having Isabel, I do speak up a, a lot more because I've learned that you have to with this with this system and the things that you have to ask for and the things you have to wait for. Blah blah blah. You have to speak up and be a bit more. I don't know if arrogant is the right word but later just tell people what you want and what you need anyway but in this instance I didn't know what to say I didn't know what to say to this woman and I could feel myself getting you know when you you get that upset you can feel it your bottom lip is going and you feel that pain in your stomach but instead of letting it I, I turned my face away that's what I was, I was facing the opposite way and then I just started messing with my phone, pretending that I was reading something really funny. Just to try and to, to sidetrack myself. And I knew that other people on the bus had heard what she'd said. And not one person spoke up. Not one fucking person. And I do apologise for swearing, but it was probably one of the worst moments of my adult life. And... The only good thing is that Isabel didn't understand. She didn't understand. But it didn't stop there. It didn't stop there. She was still asking me questions and saying things like, Oh, well, she'll walk and she'll talk. They always do. And then I responded, No, she won't. It's her rule palsy. Blah, 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 blah. And I don't even know why I give her the time of the day after that. Uh, I'm just going to wet these now, I think. Yeah, so I don't know why I give her the time of the day after that. But anyway, I got off the bus and then I said to my son, did you hear any of that? And he was completely oblivious to it, which is, again, it was probably a good thing because what they did, I really expect him to do. Um, so yeah, we got home and then I was I was sat seething on it for a little bit and really upset and angry and ended up posting something on Facebook just to get my anger out. Um, and I did share it on Instagram as well and thank you for everyone for all the the kind responses they did make me feel a lot better about what had happened but you know when they say 
respect your elders. I've always had a problem with the older generation ever since I've had Isabel because they just don't care, the tongue not, doesn't care. I've had even some comments off family members that it just comes out of the mouth, they just don't even think about what they're saying. So this is probably, it's, it's the cherry on top of the cake that my feelings towards the older generation and particularly it's, it's nine times out of ten women that always have to make a comment. I don't mind the questions, I don't mind the questions because yeah, you'd be curious why is she in a wheelchair, why does she do this, why is she blah 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 blah, that's fine but not insults like that and it did affect me for, I mean like I said I'm over a week now and I'm, I'm still really pissed off about it but I won't be doing them trips into town anytime soon by myself. I'll be waiting until the weekend and going with my husband in the car then I don't have to deal with it. Even though we do deal with a lot of stirs, I can walk away from the stirs. But after being stuck on that bus for 20 minutes with that stupid woman, uh, yeah. I had a lot of glasses of wine that night to make myself feel better. But yeah, like I said, the saving grace is that Isabel didn't understand. Uh, what else have we done? Anyway, before that, before that, the week before that, we went to Chester Zoo and it was amazing. I love Chester Zoo. And then that week, that same week, we went to Knowsley Safari Park and because my husband keeps banging on about it because he loved it. You drive around in your own car and look at the animals and I preferred that over Chester Zoo. It was brilliant. And they've got a little bit where you can walk around as well and we managed to see two tigers uh, they were eating but the actual drive round and um, like this is the front of the car the bonnet of the car and a lioness walked right at the side of me all the way at the front i've never been so scared in my life i didn't realize how big they were she was bigger than the male so we drove around there twice I think the first time it took about 90 minutes because we were stopping but they've got like this little uh, monkey enclosure, well it's not little, it's huge actually, a baboon enclosure, we didn't drive through the husband was like, nope, if one of them monkeys jumps on the car I'll get anxiety and I don't know what will happen, but you can drive past like the safe bit and you can see everything more or less anyway when you sat there, it was a really fun day like that, we dragged our son there as well, he seemed to enjoy it, what else have we been doing? Apart from, we haven't done any, any other days out, I want to go to Gulliver's World, which is like a children's theme park with two kids about low when she was really, really little and we want to go there again. We went with Nursery and then we took her again on our own. Um, anything else exciting? Oh, I got a Ninja Grill. I got a Ninja Grill or Ninja Grilly foodie thing. It's absolutely brilliant. I did roast uh, lamb's leg last night with potatoes and cauliflower cheese and all the trimmings and it was flipping lovely really enjoyed it and we had steak in it the night before but well, I'm having a night off cooking tonight my husband had bought himself just a little Indian ready meal so he's having that Louis will probably have a pizza I'm probably just going to stick to jacket potatoes, easy pizza and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet that green's lovely. So for the red on that side, I did use, I used the poppy red all over and then the, was it chilli? Yeah, chilli red for a little bit of the sh shading, I think. And I just need to go in with the, um, just pencil. I think I used too much water though. Can you see that, if I just lift it up like that. Can you see it moving like that. I did uh, attend Corey and it was Corey and Emma, Emma Colours. They were streaming yesterday together. And it was so funny. I need to catch the next streamer. So like double streaming. It was so funny. I'm going to have to pause the video again. Yeah, so I find it really difficult to sit and watch somebody stream. Unless it is past the time that uh, my daughter's in bed upstairs. I can't just sit there. But thankfully my husband did take her out for a little walk yesterday. So I did have the chance to sit there for about half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that and watch and listen to them too and they were, oh they were cracking me up. If I can, 
if, if, if I can manage to understand how to do it, I'll link the, the stream down below. Honestly, it's so, it was so funny to watch. So I'll definitely be leaking out for more of them, as long as I can watch them all the way through. Just checking, that's already done, that's not me. That was already printed on the paper. I just fancied something easy last night. And I thought, while well, it was a new book, let's test out ink tents. It seems to have took it alright. I might even go ahead and iron this page once it's done. So I just want to go back as well. I've missed this one green there. I'm an iron to what I was just talking about. Where's felt green? There it is. That when I'm saying the older generation, I don't literally mean every single older person in the world. It's just certain ones that I've got a problem with and I can normally usually pick them out because I've had so much experience with it now I can normally pick them out with just a couple of looks so don't think for a second that I'm thinking that I'm saying that it's every single older person in the world because it's not it's not so back to the red I finished watching The Witcher last night as well I started it, it was out in 2019 and I did start it, I watched, I watched half of it with my husband and I think something else came on TV, it might have been Walking Dead or, or Game of Thrones anyway I stopped watching it but I thought, I'd, no I'd seen a trailer, I'd seen a trailer for number 2 or I'd seen, I'd read somewhere that number 2 was coming out on the 17th of December I think on Netflix so I thought you know what, I'm going to give that another go and I've watched the whole series in 3 nights I've just been binge watching it, so I watched last night, so just watching it, no colouring, and did this early, earlier on, and then I just sat down and realised it was the last episode, and it was amazing. I won't say too much, just in case that you've not seen it, but I cannot wait for the next season now. I adore Yennefer. She is so beautiful. I was even on um, YouTube we're watching videos about all the cast members stalker alert <laughs> but now it just interests me she's so pretty though and she's such a good actress i nearly said something that, that would have been a big spoiler so sh <laughs> oh, i'm not being too careful with this because it's just the base layer last night i literally went on each petal but i'm not doing that and i've, I've missed a leaf i've missed a leaf though hunter so is that leaf as well? That looks like a separate plant. So that's the leaf. I'm terrible for doing that. Felt green. Let's get that one done first. So my job this afternoon, while my mother in when my mother in law gets back, she's gonna sit with Isabel for a little bit. I need to take all of my clothes out, all from my drawer, my wardrobe, and get them all sorted. Number one because I've put weight on. And number two, I need to get back into the warm-ish clothes. I know that apparently we're meant to got a heat wave coming up, which I'm dreading. But I need to like get my jeans back out, and my jumpers, and just get a little bit more organised. It'll make me feel better. I nipped into Primark yesterday. My husband took me to a different uh, town to the Primark. I was looking for an outfit for Isabella, I didn't have it. Anyway, I bought myself a cap. I have not worn a cap since I was about five years old. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try because when I'm out in the sun and it is really sunny, I hate it even with sunglasses on. So I thought I'll give a cap a go. So what time are we on now? I think I've been filming for about 20 minutes. I don't wanna stop filming halfway through. Oh, I have to go now. So I'm trying my best to to gauge it. They've been gone about half an hour now, so I think I'll only get one or two of these done and then I will have to see you in the next video. Hopefully it won't be too long. And get this organised and started. I did all my kitchen uh, last week, which I'm feeling good about. So that can go there and let's start activating these. 
I put some gems on my nails last night and painted two of them grey and I think I went a little bit over the top with the gems. Um, it's that too much jean. I started off with a couple and I thought, oh that's nice and carried on and carried on until I, f I filled the whole of my nails. Yeah and I think I went a little bit over the top so I'll know next time. Not as many. I think it's a bit too blingy for me. They are nice, don't get me wrong, but maybe not just nice on me. They look nice on my niece. She's young. She's only... She's 21, at least. 21? Yeah, she'd suit these. Anyway. So they're really easy to activate these, but I did notice last night the dryer that you... Your brushes, it's a little bit harder. I swear to God, it's always like so going off on one of my videos. But believe it or not, that's not for me. It's some waterproof pants for Isabel. So I can put them over her leggings or whatever she's wearing and go out in the rain because she loves the rain. So she's got this rain jacket, she's got it on now. And it literally comes to her chin, the, um, the hood on it. It's a really good hood. So I thought, the only thing that's not covered up here are little legs. So I've got these waterproof ones and they've got elastic that you put down underneath her shoes to make sure that she's fully dry. So I'm assuming, let me just double check. Yes, and it's coming today between quarter past four and quarter past eight. Which is fine. I'm not going out for the rest of the day, I don't think. Unless I need to nip to the fruit shop to get a potato. So I used them all up yesterday. I don't know. I should be able to just get all of these done very quickly. Because when she gets back, she's not able to take her out of the wheelchair or anything. I have to sort of do it all. I don't want it to seem like I'm complaining. Because at least she's taken her out for a walk for me. But I do have to get her out and sort her out. She can't lift her. So I don't want to be like, yeah, bye. <laughs> so quickly get these done. I am running very low on some of these colours, but I do know of an art shop that I can go to and pick these up. It was that one that I mentioned in my last haul video. I can't remember the name. Was it Cass Arts? Or was that other one? And I can buy them up and stop there. And my husband works not that far away from there and he, he is such a sweetheart. If I asked him to go in there and pick some pencils up for me, he would. He would. I remember it was not it was the first year that I started colouring, so like two years ago. He came home with a, a skin tone pack of cold picks, dead sweet. I don't know why I really use cold picks, but still it was dead sweet. But I'm gonna leave it as that, because I don't want to push my luck. I will just finish this off in my own time. I just wanted to sit down and just vent a little bit today, to be honest. Because I think uh, I think sometimes it's better talking to somebody that you don't know. Um, you know. You know what I mean? Than just sitting there talking to family members. I think sometimes it's better. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I don't know whether it's going to be a flip through, colouring chat, whatever. I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.